Yeah, question five. Integrate the following with respect to x. We have the. If you look at the question, you realize that we have uh, two items. We have this sine x, eight uh, x. We have eight uh, x and sine four x. So we have two items being multiplied together inside integration. Uh, integral of this uh, question. Uh, 8x sine 4x. Both of them, this is that differentiable, this is also what differentiable. But we are going to pick the one. We are going to let's pick u equal to 8x. Why? Because it becomes simpler on differentiation. Okay? It becomes simpler on differentiation. So the u will be called what? If you differentiate this with respect to x, you have 8 then dx. Then the other one. Is the v equal to what? Sine what? Sine 4x. Okay? Then integrate both sides. So v is equal to what? When you integrate uh, sine, that will give you what? Minus cos of that function, cos 4x. And then also you divide by derivative of the inner function over 4. So we've gotten u, we've gotten v now. So I'm using this formula for my integration by, uh, by parts uv minus uh, v du okay so this is my uv apply together that'll be uh that'll be 8x times minus cos 4x over 4 then minus my v is what v is a uh, uh, v is a uh, minus cos 4x over 4 times the u is what? The u is what? 8 what? 8 dx. Okay? So here, 4 here 1, 4 here what? 2. So I have what? Minus 2x cos 4x. Here, minus minus, that's plus. Then 4 here 1, 4 here 2. So that you can go outside. So I have 2, which you have what? Cos 4x dx. So let's get the final answer. So the final conclusion will be minus 2x, minus 2x uh, cos 4x. If you integrate a uh, cos, that will give you sine. So we have 2 uh, sine the function. Okay. Then you divide by what? Derivative of what? Of the inner function. Well, 4. Okay. Then plus what? Plus c. That's the answer. We just need to do the little, that will be equal to minus 2x uh, cos 4x cos 4x 2 here 1, 2 here 2. So I have a plus sine 4x. I can put 1 over 2 here. 1 over 2 uh, sine 4x plus c. So that's the end of that question. Question 6. Evaluate the following with respect to x. Give your answer to two decimal places. And this is what we have. Okay? Um, if you look at the question, you realize that the expression inside the, the square root is of higher degree. That's the power of 3. Why this one is what? The one beside is power of 2. So the best option for us is to use two your variable. And then at the end of the day, do not become what sing a single uh, variable at the end of the day because when you are doing change of variable you have to also observe in view okay that what can cancel out differentiate what you have here the inner one here if you do that that will be what 6 s squared which is the same as what s squared here so that's this one you cancel out so without wasting time let's just go straight to the solution the solution uh, let what? Let u be equal to what? Let u be equal to 2x two, cubed plus 5. So the u is equal to what? Can I differentiate this one? That's what? 3 times 2, that's 6. And then the power minus 1, that's 2. This is a constant, and that'll be 0. Then the what? This is the u dx. We've got this. Now we make uh, dx the subject. If you do that, you have the u 
forward 6x squared. Okay, let's go back to that uh, integration. So we now have 4, 1, uh, 18 x squared, then times uh, u to power half. When you move the square root, it will be power half. Okay, u to power half times uh, positive for your dx, which is what? the u over 6x squared. x squared cancel, x squared cancel. Here, 6 a 1, 6 a 3. Okay, so we have a 3 outside here. Okay, integral 4, 1, then u to power half, u. And that will be equal to um, 3 integral 4, 1. Yeah, that will be 3 times, if we integrate uh, u to power half, that will be u. Uh, half plus 1, that's 3 over 2, then over 3 over 2, okay, over 3 over 2. Now, this is a definite integral, that won't be plus C, so just put your upper and lower boundary for substitution, okay, and that will be equal to 3 times this fraction at the bottom, when it come up, it will be flipped uh, upside down. And that will be two. That will be two over three. Um, u three over two. Okay. Um, that's four. One. So three we can see here. So we have two. U three over two. Q plus one plus five. Okay, upper boundary and lower boundary. Then substitute the upper boundary and the lower boundary. Then we have two into brackets plus times two, sixty-four uh, times two plus five. That's one three three. One three three to power what? Three over two minus the lower boundary. S is one. Put it there. Two times one plus uh, five. 2 times 1 to power 3 plus 5, that's 7, 3 by 3. And then get the final answer. 30, 30 0.62.62. 62. That's the value. Question 7. We are told to leave the answer in this form. So to leave our answer in this form. Okay? So let's see solution to that. That's the solution to that. And the key point is that we want to find a particular solution of the what? Of the differential equation. That's that. Another key point is that it passes the point 1, 2. Okay? So, and then we have the differential equation as uh, 6 over x dy dx minus 12 equal to 1 over x squared. So that's the differential equation we have. And if you look critical, if you look at this differential equation, you realize that it contains x and y. Okay? And that calls for what we call separation of variable. Because we are using separation of what? Of variable. Yeah, use what? Use separation of variable. So in doing that, we are going to leave this one alone. So that will be what? Let's start with this one. Y dx equal to, we have this one here, 1 over x squared. I move this 12 to the other side. Plus 1, 12. Okay? Then the next thing to do now is to remove this x from here. And that means that will be what? Whatever you have here times what? Times x. Also times x. So multiply through by x. Multiply uh, through by what? By x. So which we have done. So here, if you cancel out here, then we have 6 dy dx equal to 1 over x squared times x. By 1 over x, and then 12 times x, that's also 12x. 
okay multiply both sides by dx okay remove this uh, dx uh, multiply through by uh, dx so if you do that then we have 6 dy we have 6 dy equal to 1 over x plus 12 x then close the bracket dx so that's what we have then we can introduce an integral sign to both sides if you integrate this this can come outside the uh, integral okay and then you integrate uh, dy integral of dy integral of dy is what it's y uh, integral of 1 over x is what ln what ln x so we now have 6y equal to this is integral of sum of function we have this function and we have this function which will be integral of each of those functions so integral of 1 over x will be ln x plus integral of 12x that will be 12x this one is having 1 as a as the exponent of power so plus 1 that's 2 over whatever you have here over 2 then plus what plus c okay then can we make y the subject y is equal to 1 over 6 ln x plus the moment you divide by 6 this one here will become 12 so 12 over 12 it cancel out then you have plus x squared plus c over 6 so that's the solution that's the solution okay then we are given a point 1 comma 2 let's do that this implies x is 1 y is what uh, y is a uh, y is a uh, 2 plug in those value so we have 2 for y equal to 1 over 6 ln 1 then plus 1 plus c over 6 and don't forget ln 1 is equal to 0 so we now have uh, this one is a uh, plus 1 2 equal to 1 plus c over 6 can we multiply through by 6 times 6 that's 12 times 6 that's 6 plus this one also times 6 that's a c then finally c is what 12 minus 6 that's that okay so we just come back here and substitute our answer so y is equal to 1 over 6 ln x plus s squared then plus 6 over 6 and that's 1 so finally y is equal to 1 over 6 ln x plus s squared plus 1 so that's the solution we are told to find we are told to write in the form of y equal to f of x which we have done is a function of what of x okay join the next question for question eight